camera. Okay. But I'll be here. Okay, and will you ask questions? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cross country skiing provides a journey that's unlike many other sports. Uh, it gives you time to have a long journey, which is something that's um, special about it. And I think there's a lot of people that don't find their their prime and their best fitness until they're older than than maybe some of their competitors, and certainly uh, um, than other sports that you find in. Having the patience and just putting in the work year after year uh, and never losing hope of, of what's possible and embracing all the challenges that come forth have, have really allowed me to find the success that I have had this year. Uh, and there's certainly been challenges that have been harder than many to overcome, but every single one of those challenges are things that have made me a stronger person, a tougher person, and probably a better competitor, and certainly a better person uh, for my next life too. <laughs> uh, and so in the end, I, I have to remind myself to be grateful for all those challenges rather than frustrated by, by them. And knowing that, knowing the obstacles that every person has to overcome to get to their best form just makes the success and and the um, reaching those goals that much more special. Uh, this year in particular has just been a, an incredible journey of seeing hard work pay off and uh, really being proud that I stuck through some harder times and tougher years uh, and found myself in a position and, and am able to compete with the best now. The journey for, particularly for an American cross-country skier, is uh, maybe a little more of a journey than some of the, our fellow European competitors. Uh, and being on the World Cup circuit involves, you know, leaving home in mid-November, packing your bag, and and not returning home often until the season ends in the end of March. And so, um, that's many months living out of a suitcase with the same people, uh, and in foreign countries that that are not home. Uh, and so. You know, those, there's been so many just absolute crazy times and um, beautiful places we've seen and just wild experiences that we've had together um, that have really made us a, a tight-knit group. Uh, and those are certainly the things that I will remember the most when, I, when I'm done with my career. Um, and probably they've been some of, you know, maybe the lowest moments of the winter, but then when you look back on them, you have to just laugh at, at how ridiculous, you know, whatever happened, happened and that you had people um, to work together to like work through it and, and that you have someone to laugh with it about. Uh, and, and cross country skiing, it, it requires so much hard work and to go through that hard work with other people makes it so much more rewarding uh, on the other side because you can celebrate all the little things you know, along the line. And I, I remember um, qualifying for my first heat in a sprint, which, you know, maybe I was 30th that day. It's not that special, but my, um, one of my teammates and, and best friends was there at the finish, like to give me a hug because I had made this big milestone of, of qualifying for a sprint. And, and it's like all those small things along the way that, that make it really special and make it really important to uh, make this a team sport even when there's only you know one name next to each each place at the end of the day. Dear 20 year old Rosie, uh, I hope that you enjoy yourself, find patience and uh, continue to work hard. Know that life doesn't always work as you plan but eventually you will get where you want to go if you keep your head down, have patience and find good people to surround yourself with.